where to start? I have classes tomorrow and I should probably go to bed, but anxiety has struck me ill, I don't know, and so I can't go to bed. So to make up for my procrastination, um, I thought it would be fun to recreate an old piece of art that I made a long time ago that was cringy. There's nothing like scripted for this. I'm sure you've heard of Deviant Art. It's a very interesting website. You go back to the home screen. I don't go on Deviant Art very often. There's so many, some really good pieces of art. Clock, be quiet, I'm recording. But also I've discovered the farther down that I scroll, the more cursed I'll run into things. And also I'm not active on my deviant art at all. Not like I used to be. I was really active on here in my junior high school years and my middle school years. So I'm not gonna be showing my whole deviant art page, but I realized going back through it that I had forgotten a lot of the stuff I had posted. Actually, most of it originally was just really edgy edits I had made from animes that I watched in high school, such as when I started in Nuyasha and when I first started Full Metal Alchemist. And looking back, they're not bad edits, and I'm actually glad that I went through them because it helped me practice to where I am today. Outside of the photo editing, I didn't have any access to a tablet or like I had no idea what a Wacom or a Hoyon was. I don't know if a Hoyon, I don't know how old Hoyon's been, but I had never heard of a Wacom tablet until, I, and I never actually used one until I got into college. So here's a quick glimpse into some of the stuff on the deviant art. What stuff that is drawings was not on a tablet. I drew this all on a mouse and I didn't actually have drawing software other than Microsoft Paint. So the majority of these drawings were on whatever deviant arts art thing was. They had a certain program. I don't actually remember what it's called or if it's still a thing. I don't actually, okay, I haven't been on the new updated DeviantArt page, but I don't know where to actually submit posts. <laughs> I say, oh, here it is over here on the far right where I missed it. I would use DA Miro. Let's see if it's changed. No, that looks about the same. Is it, does it actually take pressure sensitivity? No. I don't think it does. Oh, some of it does. It's got very bad lag to it. To get this to, to get the pen to actually work, it may just be my tablet, but it does have, it did have a lot of really cool pens that I'd never used anywhere else before. See, and you could just do a lot of fun stuff like this. And I, this was what 90% of my digital, quote, digital art was on. But this was like my favorite thing to use. Now, so what I was thinking I would do was take an old piece of art that I had created years ago. I think it's been about seven or eight years. And I was thinking I would just recreate a piece of art. I don't know how to, I don't know how to maneuver this website. It's honestly a fantastic website for getting your art out there. It really is. But that's also the con of it as well, is there's a lot of stuff on here like this uh, that I don't want anyone to see. Yeah, see, there's some in That's probably my oldest dated fan art from when I was, I think that that was when I was in early high school. So I was thinking as a warm up, I would do this untitled drawing, the equivalent energy of golden, of woman with golden earring. What is it? It'll be the equivalent of Jan von Eyck's Portrait of a Man. Oh man, those eyebrows. That's just some Picasso right there. I actually kind of like the unevenness of her face. So I'm gonna be recreating this. And I thought to level the playing field, I would draw it since I'm using my tablet and past me used a mouse. But this time I would do this in Microsoft Paint. I forgot how bad some of this, uh... oh, I could just do that, okay.
I can't do layers and it's super hard to erase. It's something about the size, the pen, it does not like work very well. Like the eraser lines are only that big. Also, I couldn't just fill in like this because down in here, things get, and see also that was an accident. But down in here, things get weird because I was dumb and forgot that I shouldn't do hash marks until after I fill in. So what I'm probably going to do, it may be a bit of a step back. I'm not going to start out with gesture sketches with the blue. I think I'm just going to work in black, erase any stray marks that I make. One thing that might have been an issue was I was working like massive. Okay, that was the issue. I was 50% zoomed out instead of 100%. Oh no, so I just made a really massive image. You know what? It's fine. So this is a massive image. I was working with it like that. I couldn't tell why the pens were so small. It's because this is the actual size. All right, so it's smaller now. So the next image I'm going to do, I'm going to do girl in the green dress. I'm not going to focus on the background. I'm just going to focus on her and then I'll keep the background more subtle so that it doesn't take away from her. Okay, wish me luck. I'm realizing now as I'm finishing that this is kind of hard to tell which way she's facing, if it's her front or her back. But luckily, it's easier to tell that in the original. In this, her hands are supposed to be turned where it's the back of her. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like one of those illusion things. Like, do you see two faces or do you see a face? Do you see the back of her body or do you see the front? I don't know. Oh, uh, but I would say I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not really very good at drawing shadows. Um, it was kind of, it was very hard trying to capture that long, heavy hair in the back without it looking just like a one solid lump. And it still does look like one solid lump, but I tried adding, adding the aspect of it being tucked behind her ear. I also incorporated the little goblet. Oh, that reminds me. Let me add. That's just a little shadow. So I thought that was a pretty good transition from what it was. I think that's honestly it. I have nothing else to do, so I'm done.
Goodbye. This is why I can't do things on my own. I literally spilt almond milk just trying to get it into a bowl for a joke.